Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. Loving this series. Um, items that Facebook members have shared that sold in 10 days or less. You guys, some of these are bread and butter, but most of these are big money. Did they sell the item too cheap or did they price it just right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you missed part one, definitely go check that out. These, this is one of my favorite videos. I think, I think it's up there with the top because these bolos are amazing. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So this was posted in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I invite Facebook members to come and share their Bolo. So whatever the post says, you reply in the comments, and then I share it in a video. All right, so your name will remain private unless you are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, a member of this channel, then I will shout out either your eBay store or your um, YouTube channel. So check out memberships. You can click join. There's also a link down in the description if that's something that interests you. If not, no worries. My channel is completely free. That is, memberships is just for perks. So are you guys ready to see some bolos? I've got like 30 coming your way. So let's get started. The first item. I'm gonna look at my computer. I'm gonna read off what they wrote, what the Facebook member wrote, and then I am gonna show you, I'm gonna pop up the photo, okay? I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, what it sold for, and how many days it took to sell. All right, so this sold on vintage sales page on Facebook in about an hour. So this was like a Facebook group, it sounds like. Paid 50. I was shocked. Most plain white or cream gunnies don't sell for much. This is a romantic Renaissance bridal collection. Um, it sold for $350. So I'm going to tell you guys, do you know what I think helped sell this? is this amazing picture. It looks beautiful. Look at the background. It's just like, I really think this helps sell it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. But that sold for $350. Uh, Gunny Sacks is definitely a uh, bolo. I will say that they they do vary in how much they go for. They, there's a pretty big range. So do your research, but uh, don't overpay for them. But definitely look them up if you find one. Bought at the Goodwill, paid 59 cents, sold within hours. It is a mustard seed and moonshine fine porcelain flower petal creamer. You guys, I would have walked right past this. It sold for $125. Purchased at the Goodwill for $5.99, sold in one day. It is a Department 56 Christmas Story Aunt Clara's House with Aunt Clara, and it sold for $200. Bought for $3 on local Facebook auction site. Sold two days later, you guys, for $29.99. It's a cupcake cookie jar. How cute is that? Quick sales. You gotta love them. Whether they're bread and butter or big money, they're just, they're great. Quick sales are great. Sold in less than two days on Mercari. Bought a watch lot from T, Auctions for You. This is Auctions for You's channel. I talk about her and Donatella Bottolino all the time. I source from them on YouTube. This um, gal bought this on YouTube from Auctions for You. That's her YouTube channel. If you're looking for inventory, I highly recommend them. I have been buying from them for over two years and I always make great money. I have a lot of unboxings on my channel. So if you wanna see what I bought and how I sold the items, check that out. So she said a while ago, did okay, hold on. Let me do this again. Bought a watch lot from T Auctions for You a while ago. Didn't do much with it. Paid $60 for 38 watches. I had this listed a while ago and took it down. Cleaned it up. Got a new battery. Works great. Boom. Sold right away. So it sounds like she took it down and cleaned it up and then relisted it and it sold. So it's a Led Zeblin 90s wristwatch. And because she put a battery in it and could, could say that it worked... It sold for $169, you guys. So, wow, wow, wow. And the buyer paid shipping. Um, What on earth is this? A Muse S. Brian Sensing headband. I have no idea what this is. It was in a lot of five hairstyling items in an online auction. Box was 50, so cost of good 10. 
sold in three days for $120. So I'm guessing this is a hair product and maybe this is the person who uh, created it or has the patent on it. I don't know. No clue. Anybody know, let me know in the comments. But super cool, Bolo. Somebody put, now I've heard everything. Okay, these were hiding in a box of Christmas decorations from an online auction. Paid 15 for everything. Uh, one worked, one didn't. Posted and sold in an hour for 75. So these old flip phones, you guys, they can be a bolo. Two Samsung. I'll just show you the picture. I don't know too much about these, um, but I know people sell them. Bought at a local department store, Myers, paid $2.80 clearance price, sold for full asking price, sold in less than six hours, you guys. So this is an RA, retail arbitrage. Disney Pixar Mattel remix Toy Story Alien Jesse, new in box. Uh, $49.99 plus shipping. Paid about 20 cents. It was in an auction box lot. Sold in five minutes. Was an auction for $49.99 starting bid or $85. Buy it now. Um, I had it listed on eBay and then posted just the image on, on a Facebook postcard group page. Someone in the Facebook group bought it on eBay and another postcard for $50. So you guys, this sold for $85. These Halloween, um, vintage Halloween, uh, photographs, the black and whites, if you can find them, the Halloween auction them because some of them can go really really high so here's this one it says it's from the 1910 to 1930s okay this one sold in five minutes bet i could have asked more paid five dollars and 99 cents it is a jack frost laser disc 1997 snowman horror uh sold for 129 dollars on mercari with free shipping I don't know what a laser disc is. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. If you're not selling on Mercari, I do have a link down below. If you guys want to start selling on Mercari, you'll get a coupon when you use that link to sign up. You'll also get another coupon when you sell $100 on there. And then Mercari also gives me a coupon. So if you wanna use my link, I would appreciate it. All right. And they got that at the Goodwill. Paid $10 at a flea market, sold in two days. Vintage uh, Lois, Lewis, Lewis Lamar, I think it is. Western paperback books, 47 of them, sold for $60. Paid $5 at a garage sale, sold in less than a week. It is a rare vintage Mickey Mouse phone rotary dial, sold for $73 plus shipping. So again, it's one of the old rotaries, you guys. I listed these at $150 and promoted on Mercari once to 134 and someone purchased the next day. I paid $3.99 for all five bundled at the Goodwill. Uh, it's a set of five vintage 1950s Fire King Jadeite mugs. So very, very cool. Same person, I purchased this at the Goodwill for $19.99. Had listed at $275 and got an offer for $250 about two to three weeks into listing it and accepted. I had a few people asking me to break it up and sell separately, but I held out and was glad I did. So the reason I'm including this one, even though it said two to three weeks, is because before that they had people trying to get her to part it out, which shows, you know, that it could have sold quicker. It is a women's Roxy snowboard uh, with boots, size nine, carrying case and binding, sold for $250. Looks like this. Okay. Single stitch T has been in my death pile storage for seven years. I looked it up back then and was selling for about 20 or 30. With the rise in popularity of single stitch USA made t-shirts, I listed it for $250 and took a best offer of $180, you guys. Took about 30 minutes before I started getting offers. Settled on this after about three days. Um, it's a New York Knicks Patrick Ewing single stitch tee. So it's a basketball shirt. Picked up for $2, sold in three days. It's a Disney catalog, Lady and the Tramp corduroy dress, you guys. It sold for $57.48. Okay, had 60 on it, but accepted 50. Someone gave it to me, so it's 100% profit. It was listed for about a week. It is a vintage sterling silver Navajo Don Platero signed letter opener. 
Again, another Mercari sale uh, sold for 50 bucks. Got this in a $100 toy box from Auctions For You. So again, Auctions For You. I paid approximately a dollar for it and it sold for a best offer of $35 in two days. It is a vintage new old stock, Suntastics inflatable snow tube, pool beach tubing float. And these are harder to find items. I know some of the beach balls can go for crazy money. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, uh, got junk in our trunk and here is her YouTube channel. She is also a moderator of this group. So please go show her some love with a sub you guys. Sold in under an hour, paid $2.99 at the Goodwill. Pretty ugly on the outside, but very functional. It is an all clad one quart. Um, it's a saucepan, you guys. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Got this vintage Mont Blanc pen with case and paperwork at my local favorite thrift store for $2. Wow. I had this for almost a year and found it. Posted it on Poshmark about nine days ago. I posted it for $3.25, then got so-so offer within three days later. I countered the offer for $2.50 and she took it. Totally needed this because I'm tight on money right now. Thinking of making a YouTube channel, but not sure yet. Thanks for the opportunity. So here is what it looks like. And this sold on Poshmark. So YouTube channels, go for it. If you like enjoy it, go for it. Um, but I will tell you, it will take time away from listing. So just be careful that you balance your time. Otherwise, um, your sales are going to start to dip. All right. Estate sale pickup, uh, $2. Sold in two days at best offer for $57. Listed at $65, despite some damage to the box. Um, this isn't really a bolo as far as tarot cards go. But some vintage decks are worth a lot more is what he said. Always pick them up if they are vintage and relatively cheap. So 57 bucks, this is what it looks like. Some of them go for hundreds. So just depends. Like everything else, you got to look it up. All right. Paid $6 for this lot at a Southern Alabama estate sale. Seven day auction. Started at 10, ended at $50.01. They paid $10 shipping, although it cost $17.50. UPS was cheaper than USPS. They wanted $23. Wow. Um, that seems high. Okay. I paid $1 for it in an estate sale bundle I bought. Listed as buy it now and went to bed. <laughs> By the time I woke up the next morning, it had sold for asking price. Totally elated as a newbie. Oh, congratulations. You guys, you remember what it was like when you were new and you got those big sales. It's so exciting. And I'll tell you, like, I've been doing this since 2005 and I still get super excited when I get the big sales. This is an all clad uh, brownie cake pan. That's one thing great about this job is it never gets old. I love my job. Okay, Goodwill, $1.99. Sold within minutes of posting at asking price. It's a vintage 12-month um, Brian Pinafore Green Dot Made in the USA pageant uh, wedding party dress for a 12-month-old. Some of these toddler dresses can be big money. The full circle ones, wow. Um, go to eBay and search solds for full circle toddler dress. This one sold for $39.50. Bought this at a hole in the wall, trashy, disorganized thrift shop. Hmm. Uh, paid $5, sold it to my mom just minutes later for $100. Probably could have gotten $250 on eBay or Poshmark for it. That's funny. She sold it to her mom. Hey, Bolo. Got this at a hospice thrift shop for $5. Sold for full asking price within a few hours of listing. Um, sold for $40 and it is a Harley Davidson shirt. Got these from an abandoned, abandoned storage unit. Paid maybe 50 cents per pop. Asked $225 but was offered $200. Had them up for about a week. So they're the, um, I always want to say Funko, but they are Funko pops. And there's four of them here. It looks like Motley Crue, complete set. Uh, sold for $200. Bought for $7.99, sold in 20 minutes. Oh my. Uh, Rick Owens, Python Island, Dunks Green. Very rare, limited run. $279.95. Awesome. Uh, I picked up two of these hats last month for $2.50 each. I have seen sold comps on these exact 
hats for over a hundred, but they were masters branded. Mine were a generic off brand. I made a horrible pricing mistake. Learning lesson, lesson, learning, listen up. <laughs> um, they sold within five minutes after I listed. Not horribly upset because I still turned a nice profit. Profit. I had run, excuse me, I'm sorry. I had ran to my computer to try and change the price of the other after the first sold, but it was too late. The buyer bought them both. So um, it looks like they both sold for $49.97. So still a great profit, but um, yeah, you just, you don't know. I mean, we've all done it. We've all done it. So thank you for sharing that you made a mistake to help us learn. We appreciate that. All right. Paid $3 at St. Vincent's, 50% off day. Sold in four to five days for $68.95. Um, it is a Prince L. Bright multicolor blocked tracksuit. Huh, how cool is that? Vintage clothes. Um, got at the Salvation Army, paid 99 cents and sold in less than a week. It sold for $25 free shipping. It is a vintage um, showbiz pizza time PVC figure. So you guys, these little PVC figures, they can be used as cake toppers. Kids can play with them. Um, they are a great bread and butter item. So definitely be on the lookout. It's approximately 30 bolos. I'm going to work on part three right now. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you, that you get alerts when I post new videos. Go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There's a link down in the description. Go to the featured announcements section and look for the post. Um, it will say screenshot and it'll tell you what to share. Um, like last month was plush, lots of options. I think there's three up right now. So go check those out and stay tuned for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments, do you like these videos? I personally love them because these are actual sales made by actual people in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. How cool is that? All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.